Well, I think that this game, uh, first of all, Bucks are a underdog at home. Um, game is playing on Monday night, so it should be a really good one. The the whole thing comes down to this. Um, I think this matchup, when we look at it from the first first time, Bucks beat them nineteen to three. And why is that? It's because Dallas didn't get their run game going. The Bucks stopped them for seventy one yards rushing in a matchup in which <clears throat> um, they basically just took care of Dallas. They shut down their run game, and you know Dak really never got going in a sense. Never really got into a, a groove of things in that game. Um, and I think Tampa Bay is in a position to do it again. Um, this is, this matchup really just comes down to the Bucks stopping um, Dallas's run game because Dallas's run game helps them set up for everything else, play actions, um, getting Lamb over the middle, and this is what they've been set up to do. Um, they're really good on third down as well, Dallas is. So that Tampa Bay defense gets them off the field for less possessions. Um, it's going to – make up time for, you know, Tampa Bay to get their, their offense and groove with Brady. And they're going to want to, they're going to be able to do what they kind of want to do, especially with Mike Evans coming in really hot. I think they finally found, they finally found the guy to get him the ball. I mean, I don't understand what took them so long to get Mike Evans and Brady in a groove. Um, but yeah, if they're in a groove, man, crazy. watch out because this, this tandem right here is one of the best in the league. Um, when it comes to QB receiver tandems and, um, that being said, I really think it comes down to Tampa Bay's defense versus Dallas's offense. Because um, Dallas is going to want to dictate the game, um, just like how Brady's going to want to dictate the game offensively. Only Dallas is going to want to do it by running the ball with Pollard and Zeke. Um, those guys are a great combo. Um, but if Tampa Bay shuts them down off offensively, run game wise, Dak throwing the ball 40 times is not ideal for Dallas because honestly, who else besides CeeDee Lamb and maybe Dalton Schultz you're going to get the ball to? Um, and that's just been the question mark for Dallas all year long. Um, last week, especially like they lost to the Redskins. I mean, commanders, excuse yeah. me. Um, it's like, but you lost to Sam Howell, like yeah. and you ran all your starters. Mm -hmm. So not to say they're going to lose the game because of that, but you need momentum coming into the postseason. Tampa Bay has that for, for what it's worth. Tampa Bay has just been for the most part, an awful team. Um, they barely won a division. <laughs> um, so I'm not saying you know Tampa Bay is this gloated you know juggernaut either, um, but I do think those are the primary things we look at in this on this this uh, this matchup, and I just think Tampa Bay is going to be able to pull it off again. They're able, they're getting healthier, um, and also their their guys in the middle who started week one are should be available again this week. Vita Vea and Akeem Hicks, those guys are some of the best guys run stuffers in the league. And they're going to help with the penetration in that front seven um, and holding Zeke and Pollard um, and grounding him once again. So I do think Tampa Bay will win the matchup of that, and that ultimately will help them win the matchup in the game. Um, Interesting. I got the score 27-20 Tampa Bay. 